Hello, I'm Jonathan Mast, and welcome to this edition of the Sedgwick Podcast. We've got a great lineup today and a, another exciting topic where we're going to be talking about the next generation of insurance professionals and have three great guests who are going to share their experience and insights uh, with me today. And first up is Tammy Hoyner, Senior Vice President, Talent Acquisition for Sedgwick. We have Robert Cook, Workers' Compensation Team Lead, and Christy Williams, Workers' Compensation Team Lead, also with Sedgwick. And Tammy, I'm going to turn it over to you to uh, carry on with the details and ask the questions. So I think what we'll do is ask a few questions here, and I think Christy will start with you, if that's okay. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been here, and your team department, and what type of business you support? Sure. Well, my name is Christy Williams. Just a little bit of personal background. I'm originally from South Jersey, but currently reside in central Pennsylvania. I was brand new to the claims industry when I first started here at Sedgwick. I've, I've been here for about almost eight years already, and truly time flies when you're having fun. Um, I've taken on a new role that allows me to create some orientation agendas. So I've been um, still on the work comp side, but more training new hires recently, which has been really, really fun. Um, so I currently report into the Northeast Business Unit Management Team. Um, so I do technically support work comp um, with my actual job, but I have been assisting workers' compensation and liability new hires for the last year or so. Wonderful. I appreciate that. And, and we'll get a little bit further into your experience and what you motivate you um, continually with Sedgwick after we hear a little bit from Robert. Would you mind sharing kind of the same information, how long you've been here, the department you support, and a little bit about yourself? Okay. Um, my name is Robert Cook. Um, I am originally from the Bronx, New York. Uh, I came to Florida um, and started in my claims adventure. I've been in claims now for about 17 years, and I've been with Sedgwick this entire time. Right now, uh, I am a, a team lead, um, but I am doing a lot of work with our new colleagues, um, helping them with training and providing them with a whole bunch of resources. So that's a little bit of what I'm doing. Wow, I love that. 17 years is not just a short minute, so appreciate your dedication and imagine you've been through a lot of change over the last couple of years, but um, truly, truly a good investment of your time is investing in the new generation of Sedgwick as well. So I'm interested to hear, um, we'll start with you, Robert, on the, the same track here. What, uh, what made you interested in joining the industry and what keeps you here? So, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. At first, I didn't know anything about claims. I, I needed a job. But I had a really good friend who was working with Sedgwick, and he told me about he told me about the job. He told me about workers' comp. And what interested me about it was the whole investigation portion of it, um, trying to investigate these claims, seeing if they're compensable or not, and that's what really drew me in. Um, what what keep got me here was the whole, honestly, the family aspect of it. I've met a lot of good friends here that support me um, throughout my journey. Um, I also feel like I'm constantly learning. Um, there's always something new. So it, the, the job is not, not boring at all. So that, that's what keeps me here. Yeah, um, I love that you described it's not boring at all. I would agree with you very much so. In my two years at Sedgwick, I learned something new daily uh, and will continue to. So enjoy that aspect of it. There's really never a dull moment. Christy, how has your experience been? Um, and what motivated you to join the industry? Yeah, so when I first joined the industry, I was fresh out of college, trying to look for a position that pretty much matched my personality, which I would say Back then, it's still the same today with helping people and having solid tech skills, technical skills, and while that may match a lot of employers, Cedric was offering an intro to claims program, which we still have here today, the industry advancement program. So having the idea of being fresh out of college, um, I did have a family member working for Cedric. I feel like everyone has their own story of how they became 
um, a Sedgwick mm-hmm. outing, but I did have a family member who told me about it. Um, I was kind of intimidated at first, but having the intro to claims kind of br- brought me into, well, if I don't know anything about claims and this seems to be a good career path for me to help people and have good tech skills, I know that everyone else is in the same boat too of, of not knowing things and building that confidence over time. So truly with what Robert said, you learn something new almost every single day. And with our combined years of experience, that's a lot of information and just two of us here. Imagine Cedric as a whole of how much years of experience we actually have. And truly that's what keeps me going too. Even if you want to handle claims for the rest of your career, truly no claim is is a necessary claim. You know, they say a low back strain sprain is different than another low back sprain strain. So it's never the same thing over and over again. So I think that's what keeps us a lot, a lot of us going. Yeah, well, and I very much appreciate between the both of you the differences and nuances with each of the claims, right? So um, completely respect the work that you do on behalf of our clients and um, individuals impacted. You did mention the um, – you referenced it as IAP, which I know as the Industry Advancement Program. Can you share a little bit more about that? It's structured learning, and it sounds like coupled up with day-to-day. Is that correct? Yes. So it's in – industry advancement program where you're put into a training program um, that's you know, a couple of months when you start to try to give you the 101, if you will, of, of claims. You know, we do have a liability and workers' compensation IAP or in, industry advancement program here. You're paired with a mentor right away to try to have that buddy system and support system and confidence system that you need to learn a whole new industry. Um, and I know that Rob works more with the IAPs and He's really honed in on, on making sure that the mentors are there and giving the support that they need. Um, but it is a solid uh, four-month program in the very beginning to give you that training and one-on-one experience that you need in order to handle claims. Wonderful. Robert, I'd love your aspect on it also since you're so familiar. Yeah, I mean, you know, Christy said a lot. I mean, it's a four-month program where we teach you the foundations of handling a claim. Um, I came in as an IEP, and like I said before, I knew nothing about claims. So entering the IEP program was a big, huge plus for me and my learning and development here. Um, and it, we go through four months of training, and you, you just learn the basics of everything. It's a lot of information for sure, but it's a lot of good information, and it helps you build this foundation so that you can succeed in our industry. So it's, it's been a great program. It's helped me, and I enjoy helping our new IAPs and just helping them succeed um, throughout Sedgwick. Well, I so appreciate that, uh, getting education right out of either completing, right, um, either a high school or undergraduate degree is just so valuable when you're getting into a new industry. So Sedgwick is not shy about investing in their people and their futures. So I guess I'm interested from both of you, and Robert, we'll stay with you to kick this off. How has your career developed at Sedgwick, and were there specific steps you took to grow the career? Um, And along that journey, how did you partner with managers and mentors to feel supported along the way? Okay. So, like I said, I came through the IEP program, and once I graduated, I became a, a claims examiner. And I had another examiner who was my mentor. So I can go to her with any kind of question that I had. And she was really good and really supportive of me. Um, She was really nice. I knew that she was busy a lot. But she took the time out to go through my files just to make sure that everything was on the up and up. And I I took that information in and, and learned a lot from her and kind of grew my way up and worked my way up to becoming a a new claims examiner, uh, handling more complex claims. And then I took that experience and moved up to being a team lead. Um, You know, the funny thing is, is I haven't been in workers' comp the entire time here at Sedgwick. I actually moved to the Medicare unit because I wanted to kind of broaden my horizons um, with Sedgwick. I wanted to see if there was any other path that I wanted to go. 
And the thing about Sedgwick is there is so much opportunity here, and it allowed me to move into the Medicare department. So I was able to do that for a little bit and realize, you know, this is, this is not for me. I, I really enjoy the clean aspect. So I went back to doing that, and um, then this opportunity came up where I, I could help my, my fellow colleagues, and, and that's something that I always wanted to do. I always wanted to help. I, I felt this, this strange urge, this it, really big urge to help my colleagues. And so I got that opportunity, um, and I've been doing it for a year, in which I, I get to, to help our, my, my colleagues. Um, I had a lot of help o- along the way. Um, I had teams that supported me um, because I, I, I tried to push through a lot. And we all know that there's, there's a lot of work in this, in this industry, and support is so key, and I had a lot of that. Um, I had a lot of people tell me, don't give up, you can do it, um, and that really helped me fight to get what I wanted. Um, and that's why I'm here today. Um, I, I worked really hard, um, and I'm finally, I, I'm doing what I, I love to do. So it's no longer like a job anymore. It's, you know, it's, it, it, it's not, it's all good work, and I, and I love to see the results from that. Yeah. It sounds like you've turned it into a career where you can pay it forward. Right. Yeah, so exactly. a new, a new gener- yeah, absolutely appreciate that. And in the form of a, of a leader, that's truly a gift. So thank you for articulating it well. Um, Christy, so same question for you. What steps have you taken to grow your career over Sedgwick? And have there been managers, mentors provided to you and or identified along the way? Yeah, I mean, my, my story is similar to Rob's story. Um, I, I started in the IAP program, too, and was paired with a mentor, and truly, I think, looking back, it was that pairing of a mentor, even, you know, with Rob's experience, too, having that support right away is truly amazing and definitely makes a world of a difference, and I think that's why Rob and I both enjoy our jobs now, because we can be that extra resource. We can be that person now for new hires with and without experience, of course. Um, So, I mean, I, I always stood true to myself, too. I, I always wanted to provide help to colleagues, even new hires, while I was still handling claims. I would always offer my help to them. And I think with time, you know, a lot of team leads and other colleagues saw me take initiative to help others. And I believe with that, that characteristic about me and that attribute that I was giving to Cedric as a whole and to multiple offices and multiple teams definitely made an impact. Um, but again, the, the mentoring and support, being open with your team leads and asking questions and never being afraid to maybe take on a new task or take on a a new project so that they can see what you're capable of too. But again, just being yourself and being open allows you to do great things here at Sedgwick. But again, it is the, the mentor piece, the support piece. I've been blessed with great managers and team leads that listen and are open to my ideas and my suggestions too. And it's truly a great team effort, and we're not here to be the best adjuster ever. It's, it's truly a, a group effort. Um, this is not a one-man band, if you will. We definitely have clients to take care of, claimants to take care of. There's, there's a lot of hands in the pot, even for just one claim. So the support definitely needs to be there in order to be successful. Yeah, I love that, and that's a perfect description of all of the different touch points, right, that represent a a 23,000 to 30,000 any given moment colleague population around the globe. It does, it truly takes a, a global village to get our, our work done. And, and I think in an environment where culture truly counts, right? So as part of our, um, I guess our commitment, not only to colleagues and our, our clients, we all are committed to demonstrating the core values that support that. And in your current positions today, I would be curious about, you know, you've, you've both have had journeys. You've had some ups and downs, I imagine, along the way. What do you love most about your current role at Sedgwick? And in that role, what do you find in terms of the culture or your position to be the most rewarding? And Christy, we'll start with you. Sure. So just to touch upon when I was handling claims, because I feel like different positions here definitely have different 
roles and rewarding features that I'll just touch upon when I handed workers' compensation claims, guiding the injured workers to get the medical care that they need and ensuring that they had, you know, the check that was owed to them, of course, made me feel whole. You know, the second that you put yourself in the injured worker's shoes or, you know, in their family's shoes, for example, your perspective changes every single claim from, from there on out. You imagine that person being a family member, a friend. Of course, yes, we have a job to do. Jurisdictionally, following the state rules, invested, investigating the claim truly to what it needs to be to make sure, of course, that it is compensable. But having the empathy of making sure that that person is taken care of truly was very rewarding to me when I actually handled workers' compensation claims. But now, having the opportunity to train new hires and give them some tips and tricks to maintain a good level of productivity and efficiency in in the claims has been the most rewarding to me. Like Rob said, this is truly a career for me. I I don't feel like I'm I'm doing a job, if you will. This is something that I've had passion about for a long time is is helping people. And I think, again, we want to be that mentor and that extra resource and that extra support cushion, if you will. When we first started, I think we want to make sure new hires are, are supported and feel feel that too. Um, so, of course, wanting to support new hires beyond just day 90, day 60, day, day, um, or day 30, day 90, day 60, to just give them that extra support that they need throughout their year, throughout the first couple of months, and not just right away. Um, so see the new hires have that confidence and Investigating the claim well and navigating the systems well is definitely the aha moment for me and has been definitely worthwhile. Wonderful. I would, two years in, still consider myself to be a new hire. So <laughs> in some <laughs> shape, way, shape, or form, I appreciate all that you do because it then cascades across the organization. And, again, we all kind of emulate the, the care and count culture. And it sounds like the both of you take that as, um, take it very seriously and as a high priority. And, Robert, from your perspective, you've had a 17-year journey with Sedgwick, and again, I'm sure filled with some highs and lows as in any career, but what would you say is your biggest motivator now? What do you find most rewarding in your current role? Well, the, the thing that I find most rewarding is being able to be that go-to person for our new colleagues. That's what I had when I came in. Um, I had a great mentor, a great support system, and that got me through the years. And I always thought, man, I really want people to feel the same way that I felt. And if I can do that, then it's going to get them to stay. And that's what I try to do. Um, I try to be there, that, that support person for them. Um, I, I, I want to answer all the questions. Um, I want to be able to put a smile on their face um, and just help them throughout the day because I, I know it's it's hard. And so when I get the opportunity to sit down and speak to someone and, like Christy said, give them that aha moment, that is the most rewarding feeling ever. I, I mean, you know, I have had people tell me, you know, thank you so much uh, for going over it. Um, going over this with me, um, it's been really helpful, and now I can get just get through the rest of my 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 work, and that that makes me feel good um, that I was able to provide that kind of support, and if I can keep that up, then you know our new colleagues are going to realize that, and they're going to feel what I felt before, and they're going to want to stay, and and that's what I want, and that's that's why it's so rewarding to me. Yeah, and I would say not only do we have, you know, unique and custom relationships with across our community, but you two sound, again, like a you're representing the masses when it comes to inclusion, right? So over the course of 17 years, in Robert's case, the there have, um, you know, certainly been new colleagues coming on board, and part of what motivates both of you is being a part of that experience. And I think what's motivating and, you know, contributing to that is also the diversity aspect of different industry experience and or some to little or none work experience. That's a lot to step into and to be uncomfortable is when you grow. So um, thank you both for demonstrating that inclusive behaviors. And your leaders sound like they've done a great job also 
um, and mirroring that in, you know, the, in the fields in which you're in. I think the, the last question I would have is one I would, you know, in the talent acquisition space, I'm always thinking about what advice um, not only do I give my own children or friends or family, but someone joining or considering a new career. Um, and in this space in particular, you've done a great job of articulating kind of the day-to-day -day and no one claim is the same. But I would look to both of you, and we'll start with Robert. What advice would you give someone considering a career in this industry? I would tell them, first of all, get involved. Um, get involved in different activities that may come across your path. Um, I joined the activities committee in my office, and I worked with a lot of people. I set up a lot of activities, and it kind of showed everybody that I wasn't all about things. I can also do other things as well. And I can be fun about it. And that leads me to my, my, next, my next point is build relationships. Get to know your, your team. Um, get to know the colleagues, your team leaders, your office managers. Get to know everybody because if you can do that, uh, you, you're known. You're, you're putting yourself out there. And you never know. Some of them can help. I've had a lot of team leaders um, that I know they, they, they stuck their neck out for me and supported me because I got to know them and they got to know me. Um, and finally, become a resource for, for a person. Um, be that go-to person. Learn as much as you can. And once you learn all of that, share that with others because that's really going to separate you from the path that you are that go-to person. So that's the advice that I would give. Very well said, and I agree with all of that advice. Um, appreciate your perspective on it, and I imagine a lot of that filters through referrals, right, and individuals that either know Sedgwick as an organization or the industry, and identifying, you know, someone's fit is very much aligned to the culture that they're joining. So um, very well said, Robert. And Christy, same question for you. What advice would you give someone considering a career in the industry? Yeah, I mean, it, it sounds cliche, but I would say just go for it, um, especially with the, the programs that we have um, that, that allow us to present intro to claims, if you will. You know, you're not the only one here to maybe be on, on the path of learning something new right away. So the industry is vast. It is ever-growing. Like Robert said, he has gone to other sectors in Sedgwick, too. So to me, I would say just go for it. There are many lines of business, whether it be workers' compensation, liability, property, of course, just to name a few. And something else that I would say, too, is just be yourself. Be, be and stay confident in that and be open to learning new things. We learn new things in this every single day. Um, and I, I would say being a resource, too, and always sharing information just to go back on what I said, too, we're not here to be the best adjuster ever. We're here to be a group to work well and hard together. And, of course, with that, subject is ever-changing. The industries are ever-changing, which means that the conversations with our team leads, mentors, other people leaders, too, need to continue happening often so that we can stay on top of our game and, of course, stay diligent and we do say, you know, caring counts here at Sedgwick, and it truly goes every which way, whether that's Sedgwick outwardly caring for claimants or clients or third parties or internally with each other as well. So lastly, I would say that the more support you embrace in, the more successful that you will be here at Sedgwick. I love the word embrace, um, and I appreciate that we've all kind of hit on the culture that cares, right? So at the end of the day, it's caring is at the heart of everything we do, um, and we at Sedgwick live by core values that really define that, make a difference in the experience of everyone, not only interacting with Sedgwick or joining the organization or um, participating in a, in a claim investigation or degree of something that's impacted their, their livelihood. So um, this has been a, a wonderful conversation. I'm sure that there are many more um, nuggets of good advice that we could share to new folks joining the organization. And I would encourage them all to explore our current opportunities on Sedgwick Career Site. But with that said, I will turn it back over to Jonathan Mast and just appreciate everyone's time here. Thank you. Robert and Christy, really great information, and 
anybody out there listening, obviously visit uh, Sedgwick.com and the careers section if you're looking to join uh, our team and and start your your new career or recharge your current career, uh, there's a place for you here at Sedgwick. So until next time.